Welcome to the last video here on our Access Database for uh, an application to run our store. We're going to create a main menu and that we can use this as a user-friendly program. We're not going to force our users to open and find forms. They're going to be easily available to us. This is pretty simple. We're going to create something called a navigation form. So let's click here on navigation. And we have different kinds of forms, so you can pick any one of these. I'm going to choose the vertical tabs left. And so I'll have like an index over here and then the forms and reports will show up in this section. Here's how it works. First of all, we would want to have someone else to run our program to be able to enter new customers. So I'm going to drag the customer form up to here. Notice the customer form shows up. I'm going to actually add the ability to add a product. So I'm going to click here and drag that up. So we have customers, products, we should be able to add and re remove vendors, so I'll add vendors. Also, our users will probably want to enter invoices. That'll be the most common thing that we do at our store, so I'm going to take the invoice table and drag that over. Notice I'm going to leave the subform alone. The uh, invoice subform is actually part of the invoice table form, so let's just leave that there. Also, we might want to run a report, so I'm just going to drag this report over to here and now we have the report. And so that's really it. So if we were to go look at this as a form view, when our users run this program, they would click on these tabs and then they would be able to access the different forms that we've created. And so now you see the importance of creating forms and we don't give the user access to any of the tables. We don't let them go see those. Okay, now that we have our navigation form set up, we'd like to set the options so that the users do not get access to any of these forms and tables on the side, nor can they right-click and choose Design View and go change the program. So if we release this program to our users, we want it to be somewhat locked down. So the first thing you should do is save a backup copy of your database. The reason why is because if you lock the database down, you can't make any changes. So let's choose Save As and let's give this thing a new name. So if I have Sluter Store Back or Backup 2 or something like that, that will allow me to have a second copy of this so that I can get in and change it again later if I need to. So let's choose Save. Now it's going to ask you to enable content and ask you if you trust this program. Yes, you do. Okay, so to change this so that we can't get into some of the menus, let's go to the File menu and choose Options. Some of the options. On the current database, we need to first of all give it a title. So name your, name your application, Sluter Store. And then when we have the option for display form, the first thing we want our users to see when we open this is our navigation form. So that way we can get around in the program. We're going to hide some things. So let's go down a ways. The navigation pane. The navigation pane is all the things over here on the left, so we don't want them to get into the tables and edit them, so we'll uncheck that. Allow full menus? No, we don't want that either, because uh, menus are when you right-click on something, you can choose Design View. So click OK. It says now you must close the program and reopen it to take effect. So let's choose Close, and let's go back and open it. Remember I'm opening the backup version of this. So now you can see that my menu is the only thing visible. If I want to hide the top ribbon bar, I can click this little arrow. And now I have a very clean looking application. And so our products can be entered, our vendors can be entered, and we can create invoices and do some reports. So we're done now. This is a very simple version of the program to enter data into a database about sales at our store. You can imagine that if you had a real accounting system, there would be all kinds of things about inventory and about sales events and about discounts. But we just got the basics running here. So this is your first to access application. Congratulations. You can consider yourself a database programmer now and go out and get a job.